working on a public art sculpture. We're working on community-based public art. We make tiles or pieces that all go together so everybody gets a small part in a bigger idea. So we're making a project for BP for their visitor center. The tiles are all being made by the local students. The BP asked for the project to have some kind of relation to STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math. Those subjects are the jobs in which are gonna be our future. I've been putting pictures in this type of clay to represent like different things for math and science and everything. Thinking about being a scientist, like inventing um, different materials and everything. My favorite subject is math. I'm a problem solver. I'm good figuring out the questions. They'll have to dry and then they'll be fired. And then once it's fired, then it'll be glazed. Clay is essentially a dirt, but when it's fired, it turns into glass. Far away, you're seeing kind of an abstracted form of grass. And then when you get up close, you're gonna be able to see little calculators and infinity signs, math symbols, science symbols. South Shore Arts was the lead organization and it was funded by BP America. We're really proud to be a part of it. A lot of people were asking me, what are we doing? But when I learned that this was actually the work of over 300 students with a theme around STEM, it very much gives you a sense of ownership. This is owned by the community. The kids have an ownership. The project has legs. To think that it's not just about one subject, it could be like a bunch of subjects mixed together. It would be something that I would like to go into later in life. I found out a little bit more information about BP and the refinery. And science and technology, it really does have to do with art. They go together, you know, like yin and yang. Didn't expect it to turn out to that awesome of a sculpture. It's, it's cool. As this natural grass kind of grows up, then you'll have the sculpture and it'll be surrounded by the natural habitat of Indiana and it'll kind of all blend in together. The idea that the kids were really connecting to it, that's the final portion of the project.